Hey guys, welcome back to Sandy Cats. Today we're gonna do a short video on these trash bags. I know it kind of seems minuscule, but honestly, they've been a big deal for me. Because the first time you get a trash bag, put it on your tire carrier and go out on a three, four day trip, you realize how valuable it is. It takes away all the trash from inside the vehicle. It just, it saves a lot of time and it'll organize a lot of things. However, there are faults with all these trash bags. And you kind of start realizing those faults and trying to find fixes for them because they're really, really annoying. And eventually, I started with trash roos. We'll discuss that. I went to the Overland Gear Guy, which is a $200 trash bag. Didn't like it. And now I finally found this one, which you know kind of solves a lot of my problems. And I'm gonna get into all these bags and why I ended up with this one. All right, so first let's talk about the trash rule. This is kind of, you know, the invention of probably tire care trash bags. These guys have been around for a while. They're cheap, they are very large. And because they're large, they're very useful. I love these things actually. And honestly, 80 to 90% of the time, this is the trash bag I would definitely recommend going with. <clears throat> But there's a couple of issues. First of all, it discolors really fast. I think I go through, I used to go through like one every six months or one every year until they start kind of discoloring and disintegrating, honestly. Um, the second problem with this bag is mounting it. It has basically two straps on each side. You can mount them in an X or mount them up and down, but I mount them in an X and it still slides around. There's tricks to fix that, but it slides around on the tire carrier, especially when you're going fast, you got a lot of heavy stuff in here. It ends up starting over here and going lower, 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 lower. And then the third problem with this bag is the same problem that has is with 99% of the bags is, and I'm just gonna show you, is this. When you have the trash bag full, which you know by day three or four at camp, your trash bag may start looking like this, especially if you got kids or a big family. And um, then you gotta go to sleep. And a lot of us camping bear country, so we have to remove, the tr ideally you wanna remove the trash, put it inside your vehicle, not attract bears. I can get this trash bag out right now. And this is what I used to do at camp all the time. And then, it would eventually start to take a different form and I'd never be able to get it back in to take this shape. So, I would have to unhook the whole thing, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but on some setups, it's a pain to deal with hooking and unhooking it and getting it perfectly aligned every time. So that's really the problem with this bag, but that's gonna be the problem with all the bags. And I really wished there was a different solution. <clears throat> Keep in mind the other thing that's cool about this bag that I really, really like, is how low I can get this lift. So even though I'm on a 37 inch tire, I'm sitting really, really tall, you know, if I have trash in here and I gotta throw some more trash in here, I just, I could lower this lift and throw trash in instead of having to try to throw it in like that. That's a big deal actually. Um, that's another thing I really like about this trash bag. So in my opinion, after testing out the $200 trash bag and I, I've actually looked at um, on other rigs, other, you know, $200 trash bags, I like the trash roll. I think that it solves almost every single problem except for the sliding down. You know, I don't mind replacing For this price, it's, you know, same price basically if you replace it every six months or a year versus buying an expensive one. And <clears throat> taking out the trash. That's the big problem for me. Once I have to put it back in. So then we get this bag, which is the Overland Gear Guy bag. And I'm using this as an example because there's a couple of expensive bags that are very similar styles. And first of all, most of them except for, I think Blue Ridge something, which they're always sold out anyways, none of them are as big as the trash roof, which already sucks because the trash roof was like a perfect size for a construction bag. Um, other than that, this has more points of attachment and you can attach this on your tire and it will not slide around. So that's a big, big plus for this bag. And let me show you the negatives. So here it is. Um, I didn't attach it fully secure, but it's good enough. The first negative, smaller than the trash rule. 
Second negative is I can't lower the slip that much. So I can't really just throw trash in there as easy. For some, it's not a big deal. For me, it kind of is a big deal uh, because you know my, my kids, my wife, if they want to throw it in here, they're a little shorter, so it's harder to get it in. And it's the same problem as the trash roof because once I remove my trash from here, it's more. this is more narrow than a trash roof. My trash bag is gonna have a more narrow shape. I'm gonna throw it in the truck. It's gonna widen out and then I'm never shoving it back in here. And, Trust me, I ran with this for three weeks on the Idaho BDR and it was such a pain to deal with trying to get my trash back in here once it took a different shape that I, I was about to just ready to throw this out on the trail and get a trash roof. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the next negative. Otherwise, it's a good bag. I don't know, the quality is really good. You'll know it'll never, <clears throat> it'll never really probably change, you know, get burned out or whatever. Easy to wash, but usability, man. I mean, that's really what matters to me. So then comes this bag. This bag is made by Colfax Design Studios. And it's the most unique bag I've had. And I love 85% of it, which is more than I could say about any other trash bag. And the reason why I love 85% of it is because of the way it goes on and comes off. So I'll just show you that really fast. Everything is pre-mounted on the tire carrier. These guys right here and these two clips right here and everything is super tight. It never moves at all. Um, clips here. Bam. Bam. Clip here. And then clip here. And now it's tight and it's mounted on a tarot carrier. And it looks small. And it is a little smaller than the trash roux. I really wish it was a little wider, but it's actually pretty damn big. And it's big enough for what we need, what we use. So I'll probably just shove what I took out of the trash roux in here if I really want to right now. But I could do it on the ground because I could take this whole bag off and it'd be easier, so. And it closes with this carabiner, like a waterproof bag. So all you gotta do is roll it down up to wherever your trash is. You can roll it down as much or a little, as little as you want. Take the carabiner, put it in like that. And that's pretty much it, it's closed. So the good about this bag is now I don't have to take my trash bag out of the trash bag. Sounds funny. Because I could take this whole thing off in 10 seconds and put it back on. Why I love that is A, for bears, right? But B, more importantly, camp life. When my kitchen is all the way open or whatever, nobody's walking around the back of your tire carrier, especially if you intentionally put it like a little bit out of place because everybody's walking to the front to throw the trash out every time. So now all I need to do is take this bag off and I can just hang it where my kitchen is, wherever it is, or wherever it's easy for my kids to reach and they can use the trash bag like that. It doesn't have to always be permanently mounted on my tire carrier. So that's what I love about this bag. And that alone is worth like, you know, going all the other draw bags of it, draw backs of it. There are, in my opinion, two draw backs. The first one is it functions kind of like the Overland gear guy where it's up here. I can't really bend this lid down to get trash in while it's in here. So it is a little bit of a pain, honestly, to use when it's on your tire carrier. But the truth is, at least for me, 99% of the time, I'm using the trash bag off my tire carrier at camp. And if I need to like get all the trash out of the car, it'll take an extra second to throw it in up there. It's fine. The second downside, which I, you know, from, it's for me a downside, there's no extra pockets. So most trash bags come with extra pockets. And the reason why that's a downside is because I used to keep my propane tank inside my trash bag and I can't do that anymore. So if this had a pocket in the back, um, I think I'd be like super stoked. I'd be, I'd be done with this. I wouldn't be thinking, let's just add something else. But honestly, this is, this is perfect. It's also fairly waterproof. It's water resistant. It's not gonna be 100% waterproof, but this, you know, much more water resistant than most other trash bags. The other thing is the hardware on this. It's much, even though it's smaller, 
uh, most of the hardware on this is metal. Um, I, you know, a lot of it is metal, let's put it that way. On the Trashru, I never had a problem with the hardware. On the Overland Gear Guy one, which is the more expensive one, um, I had a problem. My problem basically was this. If it's not perfectly straight, sometimes it would pop open. This piece would actually pop open on the Overland Gear Guy. I don't know why. But with, the, with this guy, zero issues the hardware. It's all solid, solid hardware, solid carabiner, solid everything. So this is definitely the end all be all for trash bags for me. If I could make it maybe 5% larger and have a back pocket, I mean, this would be like, I don't know, the best thing in the world. Thank you.